What the fuck is up? Higher point of view here. It is your West Coast Packer backer. We back to it. We back to it, y'all. Hey, Victory Monday. Hey, it's sweet when it's against a rival, when it's against the enemy, you know? And I already told y'all we will win this game. And, you know, I already told y'all where my mind was as far as this, you know, competitive tanking. So, you know, that don't get in the way because as long as you being competitive out there, I think we'll be okay. And uh, this is just more of a sense of uh, the Bears just sucking and, and just being probably one of the worst, not even one of the worst, like probably the worst team in the league. God damn it. So we beat them. So. I think that had a lot more to do with what they were doing. But, uh, again, let's only talk positive. Victory Monday. Uh, well, my Trojans, uh, USC, they didn't come home with a victory. I was pretty shocked. I thought they would get Utah in a revenge game because Utah beat us, what, like 36 to 37 in a crazy game earlier in the year. And that shit didn't happen. But the Lakers are motherfucking balling. God damn it. AD. Hey, first of all, they go beat Milwaukee. And then second, AD, what, dropped 55 on the ass yesterday? Hey, doing everything. Hey, dunking. Hey, 18 to 20 foot jump shots, three pointers, making his free throws. You know, the stuff that Giannis can't do. But, you know, that's a whole nother conversation for another time. But I'm just happy the Lakers are back to winning. But uh, back to this Packers shit. Um, when it comes to the game, y'all, I would say uh, Aaron had a pretty pedestrian game overall. But, you know, he did what he had to do. But, uh, we're going to have to get a kudos and probably the player of the game on offense, obviously, to A.J. Dillon. Now, we all love Aaron Jones, and we know he's the man and game in and game out. And every game pretty much this season, he's been our best player. So there are going to be games when he does take a game off, or he might not be feeling as well, or he might not just be balling. It might not, you know, might not be his game. That's why it's so good to have a guy like A.J. Dillon who can step in, 18 carries, almost 100 yards, touchdown. We need that shit, especially, hey, late in the game. Starting to get colder, that's what we got you for. So, you know, and you ain't been having the season that we would thought that you would have, but that's more from scheme on the runs that are called for you. That's more of play calling when they run you. You know, it's a, it goes a lot deeper than that. We know what you can bring to the table, A.J. Dillon. So your off year has been a product of uh, bad coaching because, you know, I still see the burst. I see everything. It ain't like you taking a step back and you're not even supposed to. It's only your second or it's only your third year. So, you know, we expect you to, uh, you know, when the O-line gets more continuity, hey, you're going to get more chances at the end of the year. Hey, string string three, four more games in a row like this, AJ, so we can get these people who's jumping off your ship to jump back on. But I don't think nothing wrong with you, bro. Um, O-line, y'all. Hey, Bakhtiari had to get a, you know, hey, had to get his appendix removed, man. That kind of shit, hey, it's unpredictable. You can't, can't fault nobody for that. That's nobody's fault. Let's fault him for saying, you know what? Something not feeling right. Let me go get checked out. How many times y'all heard stories of somebody going to the doctor for a routine checkup and then they saying, oh, you got cancer or you got this, you got that. We're glad we caught it now. If you wouldn't, if you wouldn't have came in that day, you probably would have died a week later. Some shit like that. That always happens. So just uh, give him credit for that and give him credit that everything, it seems to be fine. And, uh, you know, I don't know if they're going to sit him for the rest of the year, but I would hope that he could play the last two games at least, you know, to keep him. Because, again, his knee, we want to keep this, you know, because, again, he about to lay off and not have this kind of contact for a long time until the summer again. So, uh, you know, we need him to go and keep rehabilitating his knee. But if we got to sit him out, we got to sit him out. But it don't matter because Zach Tom is in the motherfucking building, y'all. Shout out to the whole pack attack, too. Uh, KHTV. Adam, James, uh, TR, Packer fan in Vegas, uh, shit, Bernard, who the fuck else? I forget anybody. Shout out to Packers Kingdom, too. Um, so, yeah, on defense, y'all, hey, first, oh, offense, too, we, we own time of possession. I told y'all, normally when we own time of possession, you win the fucking game. Normally when we are plus in turnover differential, we win the game. We were plus three this time. We haven't been winning the turnover differential this year because Aaron Rodgers has been loosey-goosey with the ball. He's throwing more picks than he's ever thrown over the past few years. Uh, there's your fumbles by Aaron Jones, a couple. You had Lazard fumble, Romeo a couple fumbles, couple, you know, uh, Amari Rodgers fumbles and shit. So, you know, 
the turnover margin has not been in our favor. That's just not good football. That's why we've been losing a lot of these games. It's just been a lot of bad things put together equals a big bad thing. But uh, again, victory Monday. Let's continue to talk good shit. And uh, good shit to motherfucking Deion Sanders. Prime motherfucking time getting a job at Colorado. Good motherfucking job doing that, bro. And um, I already done heard some stupid ignorant shit. So I'm going to just jump on it. I know everybody don't feel that way. But I heard a motherfucker talking about, Oh man, he should have stayed at the black school and he da, 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 he just leaving them leaving them kids. Man, he ain't leaving nobody, first of all. And secondly, there's black kids on the team at Colorado, okay? It might not all be black, but he could still help them niggas out. And, you know, he said the right things, like, I'm here to help everybody. We we get what you're doing, Dion. But then it's like he got black people on his staff, bro, who might not have ever got put in put in these kind of positions to Maybe get them a, a possible job on their own after Colorado terrorizes the Pac-10, since USC is leaving, Pac-12, 14, whatever the fuck it is, because they about to take over. You know, with Prime there, and he already started getting, hey, commits is already coming over. But anyway, that's that's for another one, but just congratulations. But, but yeah, bro, he's giving black coaches opportunities himself. So that's going to turn into more opportunities later, and we're going to be all right, bro. He can't just stay there, bro. A HBCU is good, but it's a HBCU. It's not a top time. If you are a fucking coach, you're going to want to just, you know, keep on moving up in the ranks. And HBCU, I'm sure that Prime had higher motherfucking expectations to be a coach than to just stay there, okay? And not higher that he's better than it, but just higher in the, you know, upper echelon of coaching. One day he might want to be in the NFL, or he might stay in college, but, uh, Congratulations, Deion Sanders. So back to this Packer shit. Sorry, y'all, I'm all over the place. Uh, motherfucking Keyshawn Nixon, man, on the returns, and he got an interception, bro. Like, just just game changer, goddammit. I ain't, I ain't, I was going to say I don't want to over-exaggerate, but game changer. I ain't lit nothing up or did nothing, but let me go on and do this. It's Victory Monday, y'all. Y'all know what the fuck going on. See, them I could chug with no problem. That was that big boy, that four loco, man. I still took that motherfucker down. Shout out to Cali Packer. But yeah, man. Come on. Keyshawn Nixon and Rudy Ford, two good pickups by Goot, man. Goot, hey, you could talk about Goot all you want, but there's a lot of times that this motherfucker, you know, the in season pickups, the right before season pickups. You know, Devondre and Rasul. You know, they ain't came like we thought that they'll come this year, but this whole year's been a shit show, so I still have faith in those guys. And look at two more Gooch just gets that were just not on anybody's team, not doing anything, practice squad type people, and they're coming in and making impact in winning games for us. So that's what the fuck I like to see. And um Mason made his kicks, goddammit. He always he seems to do good in Chicago anyway, but uh I'm still over him. But uh yeah, man. Hey, great fucking victory and again. It's ironic that when we first beat them earlier in the season, it was to take the uh, lead in the series of all time between us and them. And then the second time we beat them, the football guys must be watching. The second time we beat them, we passed them in all time wins, which we're going to, you know, they ain't going to catch us. They ain't going to catch us. And for that, bro, I like to give credit to not only all the Packers who's contributed in beating the sorry Bears, beating the enemy, beating the, the number one team that we hate, the number one team that even in tanking mode that I would not want to lose to in any other, in any circumstance, man. As bad as we are, we still beat y'all. Y'all sorry. Y'all so sorry. And y'all ain't going nowhere either. The Bears suck. They still suck. They always suck. And they're going to suck. Anyway, enough of that. But yeah, now all of a sudden, Rogers talking about the thumb is almost disappearing. Now all of a sudden, how 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 the shit is broken in certain places and this and that. Now it's all okay. It's feeling good. I know it feels good to win in Chicago. You know, you've seen what Christian Watson is doing. And then again, shout out to the young man. But we'll say that for a draft and develop if we ever get to it. But uh, let me give him a little love, though. Christian Watson, bro. You know, hey, man, this what we need to see, bro. You putting up, hey, you putting up some numbers that's crazy, bro. You know, that's got to give you all of the motherfucking confidence, you know, for the rest of the games, which you're going to get in. Hey, how y'all like that score, though? Jet motion, you know? Hey, do y'all like it or not? 
hey, it ain't going nowhere. So, hey, you better like it. Hey, the most of the times we score is from a play that has to do with jet motion. And it ain't just one play. It's a whole package, goddammit. So that's that. It ain't going nowhere. To the motherfucking house. To the point where Aaron, even before the play was called, he said it's going to be a score. So do you want to sit down or do you want to let the clock run? You know, this was already being talked about before the play went on. So that's how confident they are in the jet sweep. That's how confident I am in the jet sweep. So y'all get on this jet sweep community and, you know, just know that every motherfucking NFL play is designed to make a t to score a touchdown to go well. That's why you got players like defensive ends who were supposed to rush and get past the left tackle to fuck those kind of plays up. Any play could be a touchdown if it's ran right and perfectly. Not every play is ran perfectly. Not everything is a machine. You don't just hit one button and everybody do the same thing. Some people forget plays. Some people don't react fast enough. Some people getting their ass kicked by a better pr a player right in front of them who's talking shit to them. It's a whole lot of shit that's going on on that field. So any play will really work. It just has to be executed well, and you have to have the weapons to execute it. And we got the ultimate weapon. Not J.K. Scott, but Christian Watson, bro. He's the motherfucking weapon X, bro. Receiver coming out the backfield, doing the sweeps. Hey, everything. So congrats to you. I'm going to get a hand me some credit too, man. You know, I ain't, hey, we ain't talked about you in a long time, Sammy Watkins, but you ain't did nothing in a long time too. But what you did in this game on both touchdown plays, A.J. Dillon running and motherfucking Christian Watson running. You did your job in blocking, and I'm not sure if those plays would have happened if you would have just been jacking off. So, hey, kudos to you for that, bro. But uh, back to the back to the sorry, you know, like I said, I like to thank the whole Packers organization, definitely especially over the past 30 years, the Brett Favre and the Aaron Rodgers years, because before those years, we were far behind in this this, you know, rivalry as far as the 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 score so now we are up we are not looking back they ain't getting better this is the worst we gonna be for a while you know next year we ain't gonna be going through this shit i'm telling y'all these guys these people gotta be smart enough to make the best decisions this in the best interest for this team but the future is looking bright for us but hey that's what we gotta look at for the rest of this year y'all got a couple games coming up already told y'all I'm, I, I think we're going to beat the Rams. It's going to be a couple tough ones. We got to see Minnesota again. But by that time, who the fuck knows what they're going to be playing for. They might not be. But, uh, again, good win. But I think it was just a little more Bears than it was Packers, man. Either way. You know, either way. they they sh It's easier to knock somebody out when they shoot themselves in the foot. We used to shooting ourselves in the foot. And we didn't do that this time. We didn't turn the ball over. They did three times. We capitalized on all that shit, and we made that shit count. Played complimentary football to an extent. It was still a, a, a pretty ugly game. You, again, Justin Fields is good, but 20 for 25, he ain't, he ain't that good to be doing that against us. That means he just could dink and dunk and do whatever he do. And I do want to give the defense a little credit because after that motherfucker took off for that long ass run, which was pathetic, they tightened that shit up. If you look at the end, it was he rushed for 71 yards, but the most of them was from that one play. So I get a defense that, but that kind of shit just can't be happening, man. It can't be happening. Uh, glad to see Devondre back. Uh, but, you know, up and down game, up and down game, still that team in tackles. But, uh, hey, y'all see any Bears fan, even if y'all normally reserve, just say, hey, the Bears suck. Or just tell them you're a Packers fan or say good game. I don't give a fuck. Hey, you see any kind of bear, somebody wearing a shirt, anything, say something to them. Talk your shit this week, man. It was rivalry week, the oldest rivalry in football, all that shit, and uh, we came out on top. So shout out to everybody again. Uh, I'm going to get with y'all.